NASA is preparing today for tomorrow's mission. In 2024, we prepared for high-speed commercial flight. After the public debut of the X-59 Quiet Supersonic Research Aircraft, work continued towards its first flight. Structural tests were completed, the ejection seat was installed, and the X-59 passed a key milestone, the initial stage of the flight readiness review. Exciting work was also accomplished as teams lit the X-59's integrated engine for the first time. At the same time, teams refined technologies and tested instruments designed to map air movement under the X-59 and capture its quiet sonic thump from the ground. These were key steps towards NASA's mission to demonstrate how the X-59 can fly supersonic without generating loud sonic booms. We prepared for the next generation aircraft. NASA and Boeing entered the early stages of producing the X-66, the first X-plane focused on helping the United States achieve net zero aviation emissions by 2050. Our simulation team began work on NASA's X-66 simulator, which will use an MD-90 cockpit and allow pilots and engineers to run real-life scenarios in a safe environment. Meanwhile, NASA Armstrong engineers completed and tested a model of truss-braced wing design, laying the groundwork for improved commercial aircraft aerodynamics. We prepared for advanced air mobility. NASA worked with industry partners who are building innovative new aircraft, like electric air taxis. We explored how these new designs may help passengers and cargo move between and inside cities. Our team began testing with a custom virtual reality flight simulator to explore the air taxi ride experience. This will help designers create new aircraft with passenger comfort in mind. Researchers also tested a new technology that will help self-flying aircraft avoid hazards. A NASA-developed computer software tool helped several air taxi companies predict aircraft noise and aerodynamic performance. This tool allows manufacturers to see how new design elements would perform, saving the aerospace industry time and money. We prepared for natural and human-caused climate changes. NASA and international researchers studied air quality across Asia as part of a global effort to better understand the air we breathe. Air measurements were collected over Korea, the Philippines, Malaysia, Thailand, and Taiwan. The DC-8 flew its final flight from NASA Armstrong to Idaho State University in Pocatello, Idaho in May. The aircraft was retired after 37 years of supporting airborne science missions. The Gulfstream 4 joined NASA Armstrong's fleet. Our teams modified the aircraft to collect landscape information of the Earth. Operating over several countries, researchers on board NASA's C-20A collected data and images of Earth's surface to understand global ecosystems, natural hazards, and land surface changes. Following Hurricane Milton, the C-20A flew over affected areas to collect data that could help inform disaster response and future preparations. Working with the United States Geological Survey, NASA collected information of critical mineral resources across the western United States. This data could help inform vegetation coverage and land surface decisions made by federal, tribal, state, and community leaders. We prepared for future human exploration of space. For the first time, a NASA-funded researcher conducted an experiment aboard a commercial suborbital rocket, studying how changes in gravity during spacecraft affect plant biology. We also tested nighttime precision landing technologies that safely deliver spacecraft to hazardous locations with limited visibility. With the goal to improve firefighter safety, NASA, the U.S. Forest Service, and industry tested a cell tower in the sky the system successfully provided persistent cell coverage, enabling real-time communication between firefighters and command posts. Using a 1960s concept wingless powered aircraft design, we built and tested an atmospheric probe to better and more economically explore giant planets. We prepared for the next innovation. 
NASA Armstrong hosted its first Ideas to Flight workshop, where subject matter experts shared how to accelerate research ideas and technology development through flight. These are just some of NASA Armstrong's many innovation research efforts that support NASA's mission to explore the secrets of the universe for the benefit of all.